Hi, and welcome to this edition of Pareto TV. If you missed our last episode, you can check it out at iconpareto.com. We went over the iMac's new features along with Mac OS X Leopard and some of the great functionality that brings to this new edition of Mac OS X. In this episode, we're going to be looking at iLife 08. It comes stock with Mac OS X Leopard. It includes several different programs, one of which, iPhoto, we're going to be looking at in depth in a little bit. Other programs included in it are iWeb, which allows you to make websites and blogs with ease, iMovie, which will allow the amateur movie maker or the person with just a camera at home making home videos to have all the power that they need to create better movies. They can then export it to iDVD, which will allow them to author their DVD, and GarageBand, which will allow any musician, whether a beginner or an advanced musician, to have fun and record at home. These great new products that are part of iLife 08 will revolutionize the way that you work and play with your new iMac. Now, we're going to look at iPhoto a little bit more in depth. And here we are looking at iPhoto and um, continue our presentation of iLife. We'll open up iPhoto and we'll look at some of the, the nice features that are included in new iPhoto 08. Here's iPhoto. I don't have any pictures in it yet. Whenever you uh, get your Mac and open up iPhoto, you can sync it with your photo collection uh, quite simply. But um, go up up this media folder over here. It has some pictures in it. To select those, I'm just going to drag them in and drop them. I thought I just imported them. And here they are. Uh, we can go to events. Found those pictures. Let's title the event real quick. iPhoto presentation. Go inside that presentation. And uh, here's some of the pictures. We can change them up some, edit them. By clicking edit down here. Allows you to crop, straighten, enhance with colors. If it's a picture of people and there are some red eye problems, get rid of that quite easily. You can retouch the picture, add some photo effects, or even adjust the levels and lighting, contrast, things of that nature. Uh, most, most applications that are, just, that are as, as simple as iPhoto uh, and that are free like iPhoto don't have these uh, kind of capabilities, but iPhoto has a lot of power. Like some of the bigger, more expensive photo editing softwares, but uh, it's quite easy to use. And uh, like I said, it comes free with Mac OS X Leopard. Let's get out of here. Uh, one of the great things that, that iPhoto allows you to do is to really use your images for more than just uh, keeping them on your computer or viewing them on your computer. I'm going to select all these photos. Let's create a calendar real quick. There's different types that you can choose from. I'm just going to go with picture calendar. Choose that. Start. Uh, you can start on any month. I'm going to choose January, 12-month calendar. And you can even import events such as birthdays, anniversaries, things like that from your iCal application. And you can choose to show national holidays. We're in the U.S., so let's choose United States. So show our holidays. Click OK. It's loading the calendar. All right, and now we can choose a picture to be the the, on the front cover of our calendar. Let's name the calendar. And have a subtitle. All right, now let's, we can pick from our pictures here on the left. And again, there's not many since this is just for example's sake. Let's choose one real quick. Let's choose this one, drag it over here. And uh, we can edit the photo somewhat. We can zoom in if we want and then drag it around. Get some of the uh, different scenery here. We can zoom way in. Let's just go back out. Move it up a little bit. Get some more of that sky. We go to the next page. Here's the month of January. We can drop this in here. And again, you can click it and then change it around a little bit. You can even change the layout some. You can add one or two pictures to each one three, four, five, six, even up to seven different layouts. Um, you can adjust the picture right here in the calendar, which you could have done beforehand, or you could do it here. If you do that, it won't save it to the original picture. We'll just do it for the calendar's sake. Or you could click Auto Flow right here, and it will take all your pictures and just randomly insert them. And uh, you can still swap things around if you want and edit it how you please, but that may save you some time if you allow it to do that. Auto Flow feature. You just click buy calendar and then you would have a calendar 
that you pay for and it's shipped to your house with, with all the things that you edited on there. You can also do this, uh, if I go back to my events, I can select all these pictures and create a booklet. It can create cards. So iPhoto allows you to not simply look at your pictures, but allows you to edit them in very powerful ways and it allows you to use them to create books, cards, calendars, things that will really help these, these pictures be memorable in your life and allow you to use them in everyday things. That concludes our presentation of iPhoto, just a small portion of the iLife 08 suite. You can enjoy iLife 08 on your brand new Mac from Icon Pareto. I ask that you join us again next time or look back at iconparado.com for some of our older video presentations. Thanks, I'm John for Icon Pareto. We'll see you next time.